I'm Marty Pottinger, the Artistic and Executive Director of Art at Work. Welcome to Glacier Stories. It's a chance for you to hear from Mainers of all ages and backgrounds and perspectives, share something that they love about Maine's history, our people, and our places. Sebago Lake, Deer Isle, Presumpscot River, Portland's Underground Railroad, a past McQuaddy story about drumming through the night to call the Pollock to shore as the whales made their way up to the Bay of Fundy. Why a glacier? Well, number one, it seemed like a, a, a good use of, uh, of used boat shrink wrap, being that summer's coming on and this is Ferry Village. And number two, it seemed like a great way to make it clear that Maine's history is a lot more moving, amazing, dramatic, and long than many of us realize. The land, rivers, mountains, and coasts of what we now call Maine has been home to people from all over the world, beginning at least 13,000 years ago, with people who we still share the land with, the Wabanaki people of the dawn. The Wabanaki Confederacy is the four tribes that are still here today. The Penobscot, the Passamaquoddy, the Mi'kmaq, and the Maliseet. Each of these tribes has a distinct sovereign nation with its own federal relationship with the U.S. government. So we are both a state and four nations. And I guess you could say the Glacier story started when we received support from the Maine Bicentennial Commission as well as the National Endowment for the Arts, Art Town program. They gave us money to support a fabulous musical called Maine USA, the history of Maine from the Ice Age till now. It's got stories, singing, sing-along, dances with snow shovels, uh, puppets of our endangered precious creatures, including a life-size right whale, ghosts, and gardening tips. COVID-19 means that we're inviting you all to join us for Maine USA in 2021. But we still wanted to do something to commemorate Maine becoming its own state in 1820. My own family lived here then, up around Dover Foxcroft. They lived up there for most of the 1800s. Uh, farmers, for the most part, they fought in the Civil War and uh, as did their cousin, from Leeds, General O.O. O. Howard. Thanks to all of our neighbors, our friends, strangers, and to you for sharing or watching a story of something we love about Maine. These are just a few of the stories to be told. If you want an even deeper dive, Maine Historical Society has an online treasure trove of stories called Maine Memory Network. Let's all keep telling, watching, listening as we make Maine's history together.